Welcome to VLSI lecture series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you why PMOS size is more than NMOS size. So, this question is quite interesting over here, right? So, let us try to understand how that is happening, like PMOS sizes are greater compared to NMOS size. So, first of all, we need to understand in PMOS, majority carriers are holes and in NMOS, majority carriers are electrons. So in PMOS majority carrier charges are whole and in NMOS majority carrier charges are electrons. And see electrons are having 2.5 to 3 times of mobility compared to holes. So you will be finding electrons are having 2.5 to 3 times of mobility compared to holes and because of electrons are having higher mobility compared to holes you will be finding size of PMOS that is greater than NMOS but I don't think up to this you are getting convinced like PMOS is having larger size right and even uh, when I was there in engineering like you I was not even convinced with this answer and why I am discussing this the reason is in one of my interview with Intel they have asked me PMOS size is 2.5 times greater than NMOS and why that is happening like this. So let me write this question first. So see that was the question and uh, now I would like to explain you that by CMOS inverter. So if you see CMOS inverter and if we talk about symmetric CMOS inverter, so in symmetric CMOS inverter, you will be finding that value of KR that should be equals to 1. As well as one more condition that it should follow threshold voltage of N type material that should be equals to mode of threshold voltage of P type material, right? So this is what second condition that get follows with CMOS inverter. Now see this KR is equals to 1 that will justify this answer. You see how KR that is KN by KP and if you calculate KN then KN is mu N COX into W by L ratio of NMOS divided by KP is mu P COX into W by L ratio of P and that is equals to 1. Now you see COX that is same for both. So we will eliminate that. So if you observe W by L of P divided by W by L of N then you will be finding that is mu N divided by mu P. So width to length ratio of P type material with respect to n type material that will be mobility of electrons divided by mobility of holes and uh, see as mobility of electrons that is 2.5 times to 3 times greater compared to holes see the size which is defined by W by L ratio which is there with P type material that is larger compared to n type materials right so that will be 2.5 to 3 times as mobility of electrons is greater compared to mobility of holes we can say this size that will be there with PMOS is greater compared to NMOS right and you will be finding in many books some values will be there like if you see mu n by mu p with some practically integrated ICs then I will show you some of the basic values with mu n I have seen one IC that has been fabricated by 580 centimeter square per volt second divided by this mu p that value was 230 centimeter square per volt second and if you calculate this that will be almost 2.5 times right so that even explains you this size of PMOS that is 2.5 to 3 times greater compared to NMOS. So this type of questions 
that may come in your examination at a time you should have proper understanding regarding fabrication of MOSFET right so I have faced these questions once in my life I thought I should share it with you definitely that will be going to help you somewhere thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future I'll be making videos which will be solving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much.